inflation has dominated headlines across the globe. Fueled by COVID pandemic and Russia-Ukraine's war in the last five years, which had impact on deglobalization and surge in energy costs. This phenomenon isn't localized, transcending national borders and posing a significant challenge for economies worldwide. Put simply, inflation signifies the gradual decline in purchasing power over time. Measured through the Consumer Price Index, or CPI, it tracks the average price changes of a selected basket of goods and services year-on-year, encompassing categories like food, energy, and overall spending. Higher inflation translates to reduced affordability for everyday necessities, particularly impacting vulnerable populations in poorer countries. Governments often exclude volatile food and energy prices from headline inflation figures, potentially downplaying the true impact on citizens. In this episode, I would like to also focus on global inflation trends across the key markets, and first of all, United States. As of January 2024, the US inflation rate stands at 6.4%, which is a significant jump compared to previous historic 10-year average. And the key drivers behind it include supply chain disruptions, so pandemic-induced bottlenecks and shortages have increased prices across various sectors, also labor market dynamics. Strong demand for labor, coupled with rising wages, can translate to higher production costs and consumer prices. And thirdly, monetary policy. While necessary during the pandemic, the Federal Reserve's accommodative approach, including low interest rates and quantitative easing, contributed to inflationary pressures. next market is United Kingdom. The UK inflation rate currently sits at 3.9%, exceeding the Eurozone average. And there are multiple contributing factors to this. First of all, Brexit uncertainties. Trade and regulatory disruptions linked to leaving the EU have hampered supply chains and raised costs. Brexit-related trade frictions and currency depreciation have increased import costs, contributing to faster UK food price inflation compared to other regions. Secondly, robust labor market. Similar to the US, rising wages and labor shortages exert upward pressure on inflation. And energy costs. Heavy reliance on imported energy exacerbates the impact of soaring global energy prices on the UK market. Lastly, European Union. The Eurozone inflation rate stands at 2%, with variations across member states. And there are multiple common drivers to it. First of all, base effect. As inflation is calculated year on year, low pandemic induced prices may exaggerate current inflation rates. Supply chain disruptions. Global bottlenecks hamper production and distribution, leading to higher costs. And again, energy prices. Rebounding demand outpaces energy supply, resulting in price surges. Monetary policy plays a crucial role in a way how central banks address the inflation. With inflation surging across the globe, central banks find themselves at a critical juncture. Balancing the delicate task 
of curbing inflationary pressures without derailing economic recovery requires careful navigation. We will delve into the diverse monetary policy responses adopted by key central banks in the United States, United Kingdom and Eurozone, highlighting their motivations, challenges and potential implications. By analyzing their contrasting approaches, we gain a deeper understanding of the complex considerations shaping the fight against inflation and its broader impact on the global economic landscape. So, US Federal Reserve. It maintains an accommodative stance, keeping rates near zero and continuing asset purchases. Their view is that the inflation surge is transitory and will subside. Bank of England adopts a more hawkish approach, signaling potential early interest rate hikes to manage inflation. They acknowledge some transitory factors, but also warn of potentially more persistent drivers. European Central Bank ECB. It maintains a dovish stance, keeping rates negative and continuing asset purchases. They see the inflation spike as temporary and emphasize supporting the Eurozone's recovery. While inflation presents a global challenge, its impact varies across regions due to a combination of common and specific factors. Central banks are navigating this complex landscape, balancing price stability with economic growth objectives. The future trajectory of inflation and monetary policy hinges on the evolution of these factors and how businesses and consumers adapt.